Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the next episode of the Rag to Riches series in France. We got some insurance back from the last couple runs, so happy about that. We also just got the kit that I believe we had from when we died. I think it was... Oh gosh, when was it? The one where we, we failed the shot on the, the guy from... I think it was the last episode, actually. We failed the shot on, this, on building two, or building one on Lighthouse. I guess he died because he didn't take anything. We still have all the kit, so that's cool. I'm very happy to get that back. But we have a bunch of stuff here. We're still kitted up, I believe. Yes, we still got the HK and everything, so we're good to go. However, we need to clean this place up a little bit because it's a bit of a sty. It's a little bit of, 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 of a mess. Let's just say that. Let's get the stuff sold here. Uh, we can sell all this here. This and this. Get the sell menu actually up. There we go. Also, we can sell that. Although I may need that. So I was going to do something with the upgrade on the generators because I need to get generator level three going. So we'll take a look at that in just a second. But let's get that sold. That sold. Uh, what else can we sell? We can sell OFZ there. And we'll start with that. Actually, we can give her the two out of three. Give her this. How much are these going for? Oh, actually, pretty good amount, actually. So we'll get the sodium pack sold. Let's go, what, 29,000 even on that one? I need the motor, I know that. I tried to get a few motors, now I think about that. Uh, what else could we sell? I'm gonna sell this guy. 53,000. Get the price back to normal. What else can we get rid of? Oh, scope. Don't need you. 113,000. Actually, I think I technically need it still, but. I need for like later on when I actually get Med Station 3 up and running, which we're not doing right now because it's way too much. Well, it shouldn't say it's way too much money. It's just money I don't want to spend on it right now. What else can we sell? Oh, we can take this off. Get this sold for 38. Uh, Ivy Pro thing can get sold for 59. And then I, oh yeah, Vertex. I was like, where did my vertex go? I know I had an extra one. It's just 220,000. It should sell at some point. All that BT ammo, too. Let's get that sold for 587. Yeah, that's fine. Probably sold for a little too low because I did 600. That's my bad. I didn't realize that. Should have pulled back the thing and took a look first. But no big deal. Thousand meds, 25,000. What else can we sell? We can sell the G mount. Let's go what? 15,000. Those are cheaper than I expected, but that's cool. We'll take it. We can take this off here. Filter this. This will go for, oh, cool. 17,999. Get rid of the Mo. For 9,000. And I can't sell BP, sadly. I wish I could sell BP, but it won't. Won't allow me to. For 15,000 on the light bulb. We got a hose we can sell. Which I may need the hose later, but we'll actually hold on. Let's wait on that one actually. Let's just grab our money. Grab the money. About four mil. Actually, we can get a little bit more money from here. We can get this. So the sausage. So actually no. Marin key I need. What am I doing? These are all my keys I need to put away at some point. Kind of, uh, kind of important to put those away. Otherwise, I'm gonna accidentally sell them. You watch. I'm gonna be like, hmm, where did all those keys go I had? And then all of a sudden I realize, oh, that's right, I sold them. Whoops. Uh, okay, let's wait. Let's go over to the hideout. I'm sure there are some items that we're going to need for sure. I also need to get myself the next thing going for, for, the, for the cultist circle. So I think I'm gonna do SSDs again. It seems to get the price where I need them to, for the most part. So why not? Let's go do it. We don't really have anything quest-wise we need to have items for, for item-wise, so this is fine. Let's just go flea marker real quick. Let's get SSD. How much are they going for? Oh, why is not popping up? SSD. There it is. That's right, they dropped in price because they weren't doing the, the same exact thing they were doing before. Figurine? Figurine, yeah. Tachilla. 
Where's the one that I had before that it was telling me that was the uh, USAC figurine? I want to test a combo. Let's go two of those. So we get these guys in there, get these in there. Oh, shoot. I had an SSD as well. All right, fine. Since we have an extra one, basically free, let's get that going. 14 hours for that. Let that go. Go back to the hideout here. And we also have the Hall of Fame up and running. So let me get that installed here. I need to interact with it because I got to hold three dog tags. And I need the opposite faction. So this will give me some points. Let me get two more USIC dark tags. I want 41. Let's see. Oh, it's a bear. It won't work. 45 will work though. And 45 there. Put the 41 back. I don't see any other higher levels. That'll work. So let's go back to the hideout again. Go back to here. Transfer those guys over. Boom and boom. And that should give us... Oh, does it not? Oh. How about level zero? I thought this gave you a boost for the opposite faction in there. Maybe that's level two I'm thinking about. I'll have to go look at that. I think maybe it's level two or something. Because I knew it would give you like a like a like a boost on something. But for some reason it's not actually showing it. Anyway, generator level two I need to look at. I need three motors. One, two. Hopefully I only need to buy two of them. Need four more of these guys. One, two, three, four. And we need oh gosh, wow, this thing requires a lot. I didn't realize that. Luckily, these are cheaper than heck. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Let's say it's going to kick out at some point. Nine and ten. What else are we doing? Seven of these guys. Just buy all seven of these. Price wise, it's not going to make much of a difference. And then five of you, which I don't even know if I have the room for. One, two, I do not. <laughs> Saw that happening. I knew that was going to happen. Granted, this place does need to clean up. Let's move around. Where I can be somewhat hashtag lazy for a second. I feel like that should be more than enough room. Okay, let's go back to hideout. Me, four more. One, two. Come on. Oh, whoops. And the last one didn't go through. One more time. Boom. All right. That should be enough for everything. I need to get, obviously, these two, but I'm going to work on those right now. I just want to get that expensive part out of the way. Security level three. Oh, it was illumination. That's what I need. So we need 12. This is going to be the expensive part. One. Let me buy this real quick and I'll be back. Okay. Got everything purchased. Let's get this upgraded. So six hours on that one. Let me quickly grab my money from this I have a little more extra money from this and then I can also open up the junk which honestly I don't have a lot of room but I can sell that thing in the last run just toss it in here because these are going to get sold in just a second also I didn't realize this um I did a scav run to test out to make sure that everything was ready to go for my recording and I realized that my uh, external hard drive was still connected so that's why I was getting some lag because remember when I was getting like really bad, like, uh, what do you call it? I forget the name of it. I was getting really bad ping. I was trying to figure out what the heck it was. Uh, turned out, it, yeah, it was because of the stupid external hard drive. It was like making my computer run for like super hard for some reason. So I found this on the scab run and I was like, well, I guess I could bring it out and show you guys what it was because I wasn't sure. I think it has to do with the quest thing. That's the only thing I brought up, by the way, so you didn't miss anything. But um, I think it has to do with the quest thing with the whole, like, you need to go to this motor mortar place and all blah, blah, blah stuff. So, yeah, it's it has to do with the quest, I'm pretty sure. I think that was it. Okay, yeah. Okay, so let's go here. So I don't need that part that I thought I needed, by the way. Oh, shoot. That moment when you sold the SSD when you actually need an SSD. Huh. 
I would do that. Luckily, there's a lot of people with bundles of wires, which is nice. The wires aren't going for that expensive either. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> uh, uh, I just needed four of them. I'm going to sell five of them back. Uh, let's get five selected. We'll go 11. Let's just do that. I'll lose a little money. That was an oopsie moment. Oopsies. Look at that. Instantly getting the money back. No big deal. Let's get to the working LCDs. Granted, I probably could just go do a scab run and I get those pretty fast. Let's get four of those. I need what? Four more? Yeah, four more. One, two, three, four. Cool. So that's going to give me security level three. That's going to give me generator level three. Elimination level three is up and running right now, or working towards being up and running. So now let's make some rope here, shall we? Because we're looking pretty tight on space right now. Great right today, all this BP and stuff I don't really need, but I'll put it away for now. I just need to do a big stash cleanup and like, I don't know. A lot of times I try to do what the the, the speed run or, or like time lapse. Maybe we'll do a time lapse, but we'll see. But we also have everything ready for textile part one and part two. I set the level hit level forty. It, it's that's sort of things required. So we have the other quests completed. We just have to now wait for the actual like thing to pop up, which is when we get Ragman to level four. So we have all the fleece, airmid, ripstop. Korea is all set as well. We got the three paracords we needed, the five cac tape. So uh, yeah, everything's all ready to go. I just have to wait for the dang thing to pop up. But yeah, I know you guys are probably ready to get into a run. So even though the yeah, stash cleanup is actually kind of nice, it's satisfying because you can go, oh, wow, look at that. It's all clean and it's nice and tidy looking. I love it. I love it. Love it. Anyway, so we are working on a task. We are working on getting this one here, the E-Swing, the computer one done, because we're also looking at this. I am going to bring the M4, obviously, so we'll be able to get some kills and scouts from that one. So we may end up getting this instead of the Cargo X one done. We'll just have to see. But that's going to require me to get, I believe, is the 206 key that I need to purchase. Uh, I'm going to take a look at that real quick because I don't remember exactly which one it is, but I'm pretty sure it's the, the 206 key. We need to get... Is it? Oh, swaps. I put in what job? So cargo works part one. We need to get. Oh, 306. Sorry. <laughs> 306. Let's go flee. 306. And it, it should be the east wing. Oh, okay. Oh, that's she. Yeah, that's not bad at all. We'll buy that key then. Buy that one. Do I have all my shoreline keys still on me? I do. Good. All right. So let's grab the 306 key. We got all the stuff up here. I got to reload this. Get some ammo put into here. Ammo still down there. Everything else looking good. Just got to drop all this armor here. And then, yeah, I need to get over there, grab the little like laptop thing that's sitting on the chair. And I believe 206 also where I need to collect the other parts. Or one of the parts I need for this one. Lend lease. Yeah, for lend lease. So I got to grab that motor part. I also need to grab the other one from the middle of the field. So we got a lot of things we need to do. All right, let's get going. I got to do all that stuff here, and then that will get ourselves to level 37 and get ourselves peace key or maxed out, which is awesome. So as I grab my money here, we say to ourselves, are you ready? And let's do this. Oh, did I just literally get the perfect spawn? Oh, I totally did. All right, let's pop this real quick. Uh, where's the thing? It's like right around here, is it not? Oh God, this is awkward because I know I'm like right next to what I, one of the objectives. Uh oh, was it over here? Oh God, I'm panicking because I'm right next to a really good spot. Screw it, we'll come back to it. Cause I don't know where it's at. It's either my left or my right. But I want to try to get get ahead of whoever's gonna be coming behind me. So seems like a smarter move for right now. The, it's like a box. Is it down here? 
Sorry, I really want to figure this out because it should be the close by. There it is. Grab that. Now we can get moving. I was like, this is like it's, it's like it's like right here. I know this. So the plan is get in, check out, obviously getting to 306 to grab the item, and then we need to go down to 222 quickly, check to see if there's anything good. For mainly just getting myself a lead X, and if not, get the heck out with these parts, and then we'll go from there. I'm trying to get the heck out of this map because I'll be honest with you, I don't really like shoreline. I don't know if I'm alone in that statement, but this map has always been kind of meh to me. Is that over here? I'm gonna take this way up. I think I can. Yeah, I was gonna say I should be able to. Turn on full auto. Running up that tall hill. Tall hill. This corner. We'll take the. I swear I just heard somebody. Or I'm here myself, one of the two. Jump up here. Come to 222 because this is the key I got. Okay. Anything inside there. And okay, what have we got inside of here? Nothing in the ground. Just a stem. And a crap room. Nothing. that in there. T plug. Oh, I didn't want me to take it apparently because it literally closed on me. I right, check in here because this is also a chance for one not there. Let's go. We gotta go up one floor. Also is this the room I'm thinking of? Yes it is. No Ledex. Here. Oh, a long way. No, I lied. It is this way. Goodness gracious. I'm getting turned around here. 306, there you are. Open that bad boy up. And the part should be inside this box here. Grab this guy. And we'll also check this PC, see what we can find. This. Check this one. We got one more after this, and I think there's, I think there's something in my right on the bed, possibly. We'll double check that. Don't need the ram. No, nothing's there. All right, that's all I want to do on shoreline right now. Get that and get out. So you need to take a few things here and there just to get some more money. I don't even know what Corporate even sell for nowadays. If, if it even sells for anything. I think I'm going to take this way out. Then goes instead of going straight through the open there. Although my ping is still high right now, and I'm not really sure why. This is going to bother me again. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, well. Don't worry about it. Just keep going. We're just going to take the paracord exit out. It's going to be the fastest way. And then I'll I'm going to shoot these scabs. I'll just make sure we get the XP. Should be good, but you never know. I don't want to have that random moment where it's like, oh, 
I'm like two XP uh, short. I should have had more, but no, we should be good. Over here. That was weird. I didn't even shoot there, but apparently my gun decided to shoot and I zoomed in. Oh, I'm excited though, because this gives me a lot of unlocks. Peacekeeper level four. It really does. I'm excited about that. So let's get myself over here. Someone blew up on the mine. Oh no, those are the mortar, sh mortar strikes. Never mind. Mortar strikes for days. Not really sure what happened to the other scav. Because clearly he ain't there. Or he's dead, I should say. But I'll take it. That's quick in and out. I got some items out of it too. But mainly is I got my quest things I needed that I was focused on getting. And it's, it just makes me happy. So I'll take that. Friday, Peacekeeper. Let me turn in this thing to you. Very nice. We got ourselves. Oh, I'm using the HK. Never mind. I'm an idiot. I hit the wrong gun out. I was like, I thought the HK counted here. It does not. It definitely does not. We need to locate the room. Reservoirs, obtain the information of the second cargo. I think this is the basement quest, if I remember right. Yeah, it should be the basement quest. But anyway, we hit level four on Peacekeeper. Very nice. We get the M60, I believe, now. We got a lot of stuff for level four, I forgot. But we get some we get a nice night vision for money instead of having to do the barter now, which is awesome. Bunch of new attachments. Take a look what we got. We got G36 KV2. I don't think there's much difference to the other ones. We got the MK series as well. We got the. Actually, I'm okay with this armor, the Osprey armor. I gotta give that a try again. I haven't used it in a while, but I'm sure it's fine. Put the big bag here. We got our X fill helmets, which I'll probably never, never use, but still, it's nice to have. I am surprised that I don't have access to an MDR. Our MDR is really that, like. Hard to come by now. Well, that's the that's the five this is the five five six version. Actually, I wanted to see what happened to the seven six two version. Probably got to do a quest for it. Let's be honest. Yeah, probably have to do a quest for it. But either way, that's awesome. That also gives me access to SS one ninety. Get some AP rounds. We also get CBJ ammo, M eight five six A one and our M eighties. So that's just, that's awesome. I'm just gonna start. Buy the heck out of this where I can because it definitely needs it. Unfortunately, we're only on a EOD account. I know, it's shocking, only an EOD account. So we don't get as much as, you know, the guys above us apparently. They apparently they get but they get extra ammo to buy throughout the, the day. But whatever. We don't care about them. We care about us only. Anyway, I'm getting off track here. Let me grab my stuff from here. You from you, peacekeeper. Grab my ammo, grab my pistol case, I grab it, just drop it off, I guess. And let's get this stuff dropped off as well. So, that being done, I also need to turn in the parts for skier here. Because I need to turn in you. Turn in you. That means I need to go to woods and get the last two parts, which one should be, if I remember right, in the car, and then one should be in like the back. What do you call it? The back of the truck. The one, one's in the SUV, one's in the back of the truck. Right, or the flatbed. Is that what it would be? Yeah, flatbed. That's what I was thinking about. This doesn't actually give you any points towards your actual thing, which sucks, but it's whatever. I also got to do this one too. Yeah, I got to go obtain the chemical containers from uh, Interchange. So I have two options. And I'll see probably just going to do both. We're just gonna go get this part done here, get this part done here. So that means I am gonna go woods first. Why not? Let's go woods first. However, I am gonna swap out the HK and bring out the SR25. So thank you, HK. You were cool. I enjoyed using you, but uh, it's time for you to go. And also, while we're going to woods, I think I'm gonna pull out good old night vision just because it sounds fun right now. Sounds fun. I'll be honest. Sounds fun. Where is it at? There it is. Pop that on there and get this repaired. Hopefully we spawn next to the USAC camp so I can see about possibly getting myself 
I'm gonna be the good old Ledex so I can get that done with, but we'll have to see. And 80, we can get loaded up into all these. Fortunately, I'm gonna have to have BCP be my backup. Let's unload this real quick. Un oh, come on. Unload. Toss that in there. Toss that in there. And BCP. Okay, Paracore can come out. I also did not run it all with CMS kit. That was kind of sketchy for a minute. Let's just be honest. Drop this. Just put that. Top it off. Oh, shoot. That's the final raid stuff. Let's turn that off quickly. Get that topped off there. And I believe we're good. Do I have access to any bigger backpacks right now? I don't think I do. I think I have. Well, I mean, I yes, I do technically speak and have a bigger backpack through crap war. But I don't think I'm going to keep. The, I don't think I'm going to take the couch around because I think that's just too big. I was hoping for the trooper bag, but I have to wait for level four on mechanic, which is in three levels. We're still pretty far away, but we'll get there. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit. So got everything I need, though. I can drop this mag into there. I don't really need four mags. I don't really feel like I need four mags. It's a lot for an SR-25 run. We'll bring that many. And that should be good enough. Now, do I bring any keys? Mm, no. I mean, we could drop off our keys. But I'm going to do this the smart way, actually. I'm going to actually put it inside of a different case. Toss them in here. Do I need a dox case? Not really. I mean, if I find anything, like, valuable, sure, but I don't really need that. I'm going to get the money because if I see the BTR, I can drop off stuff. Especially if I find the Lettix and the, and the BTR passes by. Uh, yeah, no, I'm jumping in there real quick and dropping that off. Drop those off. Got that. Got the propodol. Got all this. Got my ammo. I think we're good. I'm going to hold the open spot just in case we get anything decent. Ooh, we have more M80 here. I didn't realize that. Ooh, that means I could do something here. Hold on. Drop this off. Where did I just put those extra B, uh, M80 rounds? There we go. Top that off there. I mean, I have extra rounds for the M80. I'll take that. I still have access to better plates. What are we rocking in here? Level four plates is in there. I only have level four plates right now. I do have the level five armor, but that's going to put me really over capacity. That's fine. We'll stick with level four for right now. Let's head out. Let's do this. Oh, nice. We actually get the spawn. Very good. Let's go and take a look, shall we? Uh, did we actually get outskirts too? Nice. We actually got outskirts too. So if it is here, which I really hope it is, this is good for us. Let's get through here. And then we're going to head over to the USEC camp. There is a spawn that's like on the opposite side of the USEC camp on like the hillside. So let's just hope no one actually get that spawn. Because that could be not fun for us. Let's just say that. Depending on, obviously, who spawns over there. It did take a second for us to get in. Then again, I am also filming this at, like, 10 o'clock at night. So, <laughs> that's probably why it's taking a little longer to get in. Especially on a weekday. Please let there be a Lettix for the love of everything that is Tarkov. I do not see one. Got that. Not going to grab that. Double check the ground here. I will triple check all this just to make sure, but I am not seeing a Ledex. Okay. No Ledex. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. We'll obviously get some loot while we're here, too, since uh, we didn't actually get what we needed. So we got to head to the center of the map now. we got to do a lot of stuff over there. I'll check the ammo, too. Sure. Take all that. There's like ammo that's like laid around this area. Not this time though. No, no ammo. Okay. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, I thought there was ammo usually. 62s. APSX. Nice. Put that in there. And let's put that inside there too. Right, get across the way. We'll do a little bit of looting on this side. And then, like I said, we gotta. Head to the, we gotta head to the checkpoint first. Checkpoint would be the first location. And then if I have time, which it's in our it's in our route anyway. I gotta go drop off the camera too. That's 
do not see any valuables on that side. But we gotta drop the camera off over there too, because I brought the camera with us so we can actually place it. The battery. Nice, some decent items. I still gotta check for some horses over here too. Come on, give me some money stuff. Sugar will work. Sugar will definitely work. No ammo there. I see ammo on there, but I don't think it's anything good. Nope. It's UCW. Not a very good round at all. Okay, got that done. Let's see what ammo we got here. SS 190? Yeah, we'll take that. And nothing there. Which is funny because I usually find like a ton of horse statues on that side. But not this time, sadly. Now, there's no like direct quest that I need to do for woods. It's pretty much just all like the little items here and there. Like it. It's just like items that I gotta go from this map to this map to grab this item, so it's just these two parts we're gonna grab, then also placing the camera down. That's all we really gotta do with this map. And then yeah, just trying to get some loot. There is still a chance for a let X spawn over at the sawmill itself. So we'll go check that, and then of course we'll double check the what do you call it? Actually, no, I won't do that because I have to go. That's not my that's not my exit. So yeah, never mind. We'll go sawmill and then we'll head to outskirts because outskirts is my exit. I forgot that that specific spawn that we got doesn't send you across the map. It only sends you to the outskirts, which to be fair, I thought it actually did send you across the map before. Like I've spawned them before and it's definitely sending me across the map. Maybe they've recently changed that or it's just maybe it's like a 50-50 chance it will send you to one or the other. Not exactly 100% certain on that one. But we're coming up here on the checkpoint. Actually, yeah, there it is. Let's see, I'm getting, I know I'm getting close. I think I was like on a weird side of it. Hope I hear the BTR. I don't really have anything worthy to send out. Ooh, can I send quest items, I wonder? I want to check that out. Can I send quest items? Grab the item. BTR, let me in. Uh, why can't I scroll and talk to you? Oh no. Uh, that's awkward. Hold on. BTR. BTR. Why can't I select you? Uh. Oh, there we go. So what can you do? Transfer items to stash. Nope. Okay. Good to know. That was weird. Oh, that's right, because I changed my... They gotta, they gotta really figure out some more key binds for, for, for other stuff. That's gonna be a very awkward thing for me to do, especially if I go to labs with a bunch of key cards. Oh, boy. We'll figure it out, but for now, it's whatever. Ooh. So I just saw somebody. He went inside.
Did I just hear something open? As far as I'm aware, there's no container inside the building. I don't remember there being containers inside this building. Enter his head. Oh, maybe there's an ammo case. Yeah, there may be an actual ammo case in here. Nothing here. I have the parts. A lot of fighting over in this section. Awkward one. All right. I may have to like try to push back to the woods line. And hopefully that works out pretty good over there. But we got to get this place down quickly. Blowing up on the mines. Oh, yeah, sadly, no, uh, no Ledex, no Sherman, so no reason for me to be hanging out on this side. Just guys get ourselves back over to the woods line and start moving towards our exit. Move around here. I think all the motor strikes are at the FOB right now. It's where it's sounding like it's at, I should say. Got an airdrop coming in, but I I don't know if I can trust the airdrops right lately. Because it seems like the airdrops are just like those crates dropping. That's how I found that crate was from the from the airdrop. Gav. Like I heard somebody, but I don't know what it was. It was just a scav. Ooh, it could be a player scav though. With that running. So the drip in drip out thing is definitely not worth it. Oh, it's a, this year. All these drinks, but I don't need the drinks. Yeah, looks like this has all been looted. Yep, it's been looted. Actually, CSP is not good. 
HP ammo, SP8, Trap 25. Maybe I'll sell for some decent, we'll see. But either way, we're gonna get out of here now because I got the two parts that I need to grab. And I got some okay loot. I obviously could have looted up the use at camp a lot more. But I was really just looking for that, that one part. We could obviously come back here again. Oh, I'm coming out of the forest. So I don't want to do that. Yeah, we can obviously come back and attempt that again. We're going to kill Paris in one of these days. When we when we run into him, I'm going to get a better flip and fight with him. I, I swear it's going to happen. Also, I, I don't think I've mentioned this at the beginning of this raid. The other armor that we had in here, or in the stash, that literally was the same one as this one here. Uh, that's the one that had the level six plate in that we got back from the shirt. So I was like, when I was looking for the better plates, it's like, oh, I can switch up for that rig when I realized it. So yeah, that, that was the only thing that I didn't show in the stash was me switching that out basically. Clear, clear, move. Oh, this is a transit to lighthouse right here. Oh. Interesting. I don't think I'll have any reason to do that, but that's good to know for at least the future, you know? All right, Skier, let's get you taken care of here. Let's go to Skier. Then we need to go to Lend Lease, turn that one in, turn that one in, and that's going to give me the completion on that one. But um, yeah, apparently Lend Lease Part 2 is not available. I don't remember why that's not available right away. I definitely know that's the quest, <laughs> as it should be. And I think I have to be, no, oh, level 30, yep. I'm a little confused why Lend Lease Part 2 is not popping up. I'm sure, it'll, I guarantee you what's going to happen is it's going to pop up after this quest. Or after this quest, so after, after we come back. So, yeah, most likely when we, unless it's under someone else. I'm pretty sure it's a skier task, right? Is it not Skier Task? Oh, it's Peacekeeper. Whoops. Then least part two. There it is. Look at that. Turn them two pieces in and turn that one in. I was like, I swear this is a task. <laughs> and then Peacekeeper mission comes up, which is the one where you have to kill a bunch of... Yeah. I kill a bunch of them. I got to finish this up too, because it's actually really good armor. I think this is level five, if I remember right. So yeah, we actually need to get this quest done. This would be very important so we can get a little five armor purchasing, which isn't horrible. It's just killing 12 scabs with M4, which I can technically mash it up with this one when we go over to Shoreline. So this is okay. I'm actually okay with this. It's going to be annoying at first, but we'll definitely, we'll definitely be able to get it done. Beyond that, I don't think there's anything else past that one. Yeah, I think that's the last part. This is the last quest um, for this line. But it's still not bad. This is a pretty good reward for that one. Beyond that, I think that was all. But yeah, we're good on we're good on Mr. Skier Dale. Which how much XP do we need to the next level? 124,000. We have a while. Let's just say that we have a while before we're gonna get there. So that means in and out. Oh, that's right. Oh, I see. Killing targets with. I see what it was saying now. Radio station spare parts. I don't know where that comes from. I will figure this out. I'll go look at it up, I guess, since it's pretty much completed. But like I said, I'm not really sure. I'll we'll have to take a look at that one. Uh, yeah, I guess that means we're heading over to Interchange next. So let me grab my key. I just need to grab the one key, Emercom. Emercom, there you are. How much is Emercom nowadays anyway? Oh, actually, it went way down price because this was kind of expensive at first, but this is not bad at all. I uh, don't need the money anymore. So the money. Oh, I guess let me do this. Bring this back out. Boom, boom. There we go. Because at least I can have the money for the trans transporting to the vehicle if we really need to. We got a CMS kit, all the ammo we need. Although we should I bring a different weapon now that we're going to interchange. Yeah, just take what we got. This will be fine. But we need to go into Emercom, grab the cylinder from there. We need to go over to the, I think it's, 
I forgot the name of the place. Anyway, it's the medical place. The other one's in there. So we gotta do all that. But there are other tasks we do need to complete here. Actually, a lot of tasks we need to do on this map. I need to get some markers. I know that. Let's go take a look at interchange. So we need to get. Oh, that's right. The, gaz the gazelle. I gotta do the drop off quest. Hmm. I could probably do that actually. So hot delivery. I need to get the books, which I somewhat know where those are at. I need to do the mini buses and get those marked up. So that means. Oh, I also need to bring another camera too, because I gotta place that one on the interchange too. A lot of things to do. Okay, well, let's try to do this all at once, shall we? Let's go to Crapper first. Actually, I'm gonna sell some stuff. Let me sell some the random stuff in here. Let's go sell you, sell you, sell you. Sell that, sell that. There's all these parts that I don't need. Get rid of these mags. <laughs> Definitely not silly nose. <laughs> need that ammo. Sell that. All right, that's that should be enough for right now. Okay, so we need to buy a camera. Let's buy three markers. So I need one, two, three. Where's my camera? Camera. Go like that. That's fine. I can work with that. And we could even put the splints here. But you know, splints are more expensive than markers. So that's fine. Uh, is there anything else? Okay. Let me see if I can actually do all this. Because I can do the barter for the gazelles. Armor. Gazelles are down here. Or not. Where are the gazelles again? There they at. And I meant to make some space too. So let me quickly do this. I could buy up to three of them, which is good. I could sell those parts later. One, two. That should be enough. Okay, so we need two chains. We need three more of these. We need one, two, three. That will get me two of these. And then what? armor comes initially in these nothing good so I'm not wasting any money on that one so those two oh maybe I should bring a bigger backpack yeah I probably should do that actually got that one I don't think there's anything really that much bigger go like this drop this and then we're gonna have to put these all inside here. All this other stuff here. And then put that there, that there. And they took up a lot of space in it. Uh let's just utilize the rigs for a second. Boom, boom, boom. Save the hat. And then we can take these two, obviously. Oh, I could oh I've slipped. I'm an idiot sandwich. Yes, I am. Let me just do this. How about that? Look at that. Oh, shoot. Look at that. <laughs> um, I got a few figures on that. Let's do this, do that, do that. Put that one back. And then... Give me a second. I got to figure this out. I'll be right back. All right, this isn't the worst spawn for what I need to do. Yeah, this isn't the worst spawn. Um, I, I sort out the problem, so I was able to get everything into the bag that we're wearing right now. Once we get to the location, I'll show you. That's all I'm going to do it, obviously, in the open, because that would be really not smart. But, um, yeah, we got to place on a lot of items here. I was originally going to wait till nighttime, but it's just, it's, it's almost there, but it's just taking a little too long to get there. And I just don't want to waste too much time. I wanted to get right in. Let's go place down the first marker for the bus at least, and then we can go drop off all these items. Because that is a lot of stuff we gotta get rid of. Especially, I want to get rid of the gazelles. I mean, they're not as expensive anymore, obviously. So they're in the barters back now. Take the BT rounds. Yeah, it's not as expensive as it once was. So, I'm not too, too worried about it. More just time consuming, let's just say that. But yeah, we got all the stuff in here. Contact twos, all that fun stuff. Is there any way to jump over this? Now I gotta go around. Couldn't remember if there was or not. 
Oh, I think that thing was always zoomed in. Yeah, it could have been bad. Go this way. So I'm thinking we get these items, or we get the gazelles placed down, and then we can go mark up the two buses, and then run up the, the hole in the ground, and then place down the other four items we gotta place down. Because then that that point, I mean, it's still kind of a weird spot. I guess I could go from there to grabbing the medical items that we need, and then take the seeker staircase up to. Actually, yeah, that would actually work good in a way. Well, we'll test this out. There's a lot we gotta do. A lot we gotta do, but we can do it. It's gonna take some time to do it. Just watch out for anyone in front of us. I gotta get to this stage that's like out front, over in that corner. Oh, geez. Hello. Where Where are you? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is going on right now? Will you pop the dang morphine already? I just got scav armied. What the heck? Okay. I mean, I knew some scab may have spawned there, but holy crap. I'm not expecting that. I, mean, I was trying to look. They were farther down, but it's not like he was in the little, little hole there from the flash that I saw. What in the world's up with this game some days? It's like the scabs sometimes will have like the worst accuracy in the world and situations like that. It's like, oh, nope, no, no. They have like perfect aim. Careful. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. This game, I love it. But man, it can be frustrating some days. Uh, I should probably just pop a propodol just so I'm not wasting all of my state of the law. Probably a smarter idea. Get that first one down, get the second one down. I think I fix up the leg, obviously. There's a lot of stuff. Yeah, I was like zooming in trying to find the dang thing, but they were like shooting me through all the trees. Where, of course, I can't see, but they can. So I'll do this here, pop the propital, and fix the leg up, then we get moving. Almost there. Boom. First part done. Alright, first mini bus is literally right in front of us. And then I gotta go around the corner. And then the other mini bus is by the hole in the wall. So we're pretty much done with this quest. It's like all right there. I was gonna place it on that camera. I gotta remember to do that. All that shooting is still over by the uh, what do you call it? It's it's by the power plant. A decent amount of shooting going on. That's inside the mall somewhere. I mean, granted, this map has a lot of scaps on it, so I should expect that we're going to run into some of them. Place that one down. Oh. I mean, oh, I mean, if it's here, you know, I might as well take a look. This up. There used to be some decent items in here, but maybe they already looted it. It 
So that tells me someone's running around this map somewhere. Someone saw someone there to my right, but did not. Somebody down there shooting a gun. All right, let's get these spice down. I hate that they're 30 seconds each because it's going to take forever, but just be prepared. I think it started raining out. Yeah, it sounds like it's starting to rain. It's, I can't tell whether or not those shots are from the first floor or the second floor, though. It sounds like first. Okay, it's doing the contact twos first, looks like. Just want to figure out what direction we want to go from here. I mean, it would be good to go get the camera down first and then go straight over to Mantis and get the first item. Could work out. Let's take a look here. Okay, two more items to go. Then we're done. I almost, I almost put in the beta backpack to swap out and, and toss his backpack somewhere else. Just because it is like a little annoying to have on. Because you, you don't really have a lot of stealth, let's just say that. Also, the amount of stuff that comes out from Propro nowadays, I forgot. Propro's kind of annoying now. That's probably why they did it, though. It's because it was a pretty decent item to use. But you get like tremors now, you get a lot of effects from it. Last one place, 15 seconds. Gosh, if I really want to be a jerk, I could try to screw someone over by sitting inside of the, uh, inside that actual room and wait for them. Because you know whoever that is is going to try to use it. Alright, hot delivery completed. Now we got to get moving. Lots of moving to do. Didn't hear any shooting on this side. Scav? What is a scav? What the? I've never heard a scav go there before. I'm trying to figure out who the heck was running towards me. Okay, that's a thing. Or I'm like running all over the place and also I'm like, okay. I got screwed by inertia there. I pushed out too far out in the front. I inertia out. Thought I was gonna stop behind the pillar perfectly. Well, crap. I go on noggin, got me killed. And stuck its head out right there and boom dead a bit unfortunate but ease what did he use uh i didn't mean to come at nighttime i meant to actually come during the daytime but uh 
Oh well. Just gotta get inside. Try to get some stuff done here. Since we're on this side, we don't really have anything to do on this side. So I suppose we're just gonna rush in and then check to see if there's anything in the tech spawns. And then we'll go upstairs, get the first book, and kind of wrap around from there, I suppose. Because I don't really have any other things needed to be done on Ollie's side. Now that we've complete now that we've completed the other things, but yeah. Luckily I didn't have to take a lot to get uh, set up here either. We pretty much had everything ready to go. Just kind of flash it there, you can pause it there. But um yeah, we had pretty much everything set and ready to go. I brought the HK back out, put some armor on, and boop, we're here. Let's watch out. I don't know if anyone's gonna get that spawner out to my right. I mean, they may have. Seeing one that way. Flashlight's ready. Gotta walk past that scab first. Just so I don't aggro room too badly. Let's come over here. I'm trying to figure out what the correct route would be for all this. Figure this out in a second. LCD. Just a, just a scab. Scab arenas are all coming my way now. Guess I don't really need to walk right here. Let's get my butt moving. Right, upstairs, and then we go to that bookstore next. Parts broken LCD. Take the CPU fan, I suppose. It's another phone. And that's all she wrote. All right, so we'll go up here, take a right. Actually, this could be fine because then. I feel like the middle of the map should be kind of open for a second. It'll be fine. Did the power get turned on? Well, we'll find out in a second. It did not. Look, it's going to be in the middle of all these things. There it is. And then I'm going to back up this way. I accidentally brought the M995 versus the M855A1, but all good. We had like the stacks ready to go, and then I realized I picked up the wrong one, so. Do our best to, you know, survive. But I'm gonna go down here, take a right, and then place down the first camera. Or not first camera, just place down the camera. And then that's all we need to do for that. Then we gotta go over to Mantis. Oh my god. He's gonna hide behind that pillar, isn't he? Oh my gosh, I was so zoomed in. The key shot at me. It's not like a player coming at me there. Should have enough time for this if now just take up the scab and replace this thing. Stupid scabs, man. I swear to God. All right, he's not coming directly at me. We, we should have time to place this down. I'm going up the stairs anyway. Okay, that part's done. We go to Mantis next. And up here. I honestly may just take the hole in the wall. Jopa. It's going around the other way. 
check inside of here. Yeah, we could just fit all this stuff inside of here. All right, we gotta go to Emercom next. Get that thing placed down. Or not placed down. Go to Emercom, pick up the item. Open this. And I need to go over here to the left. Check for any PC stuff. It's actually back here. I need to grab. Good. And now, I suppose. Check out TTS for a minute. Okay, nothing really good. Toss that there. Let's go find somewhere to just toss the bag. Scabs, I swear to God. The arm repaired. I think the book's right here. Or it's either this one or it's the next one over. I think it's right here. Yeah. Book two. And just toss this there. <clears throat> okay, number's gonna get out of here. I'm fine with this. I didn't see anything too important to try to grab, so we're gonna get out of here. Take the hole in the wall and then we can get ourselves all these things completed. Especially that the book one. I don't know why. That book one's always annoying to me. Look at that. There is a Ledex spawn here. I mean, it's very, 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 very rare that it would actually be there, but... Gotta check it anyway, just in case. And if I remember right, I can climb over something here. Right? Is this where I can jump up and then jump down? I think so. Well, it's been a while since I've done this, so I'm gonna try it. This is scav. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, I don't even need to do that. I could have done this. That's how you do it. Okay. <clears throat> I was like, I know it's, there's a possibility to do that. I just haven't done it before. Clear on that side. And we are out of here. At least we got all the stuff completed. I'm cool with that. Okay, Ragman. I'm turning a bunch of stuff in for you, okay? Let's go key to success. Turn that one in first. Do minibus next. And then we can do hot delivery. That's going to put up no fuss. Or no, yeah, no fuss needed, which is level three with therapist. Scavenger. Which we need to hit level nine and search. So we need a little while for that one. And then this one should be too pretty should be pretty easy to do. I just need to get over to the oh gosh. What is it? Skybridge key. Yeah, Skybridge key is what we need. So we'll do that one later. But we're looking pretty good. Decent amount of progress today, I'll say that. I'm happy about that. We still obviously gotta come back to this map. Four, five, five, five more times? Six more times, sorry. Six more times. And then we'll have that one done. Oh, I forgot level 42. So far away. It seems close, but we're kind of far away still. And we got something back from insurance. Where are we back from insurance? Maybe just been another bag. 
because I, I heard the sound as I was gearing up from the last one. So, so something was coming back. Rackman, grab all the money I suppose from you. Gen four, I'll just find a place to place you down for right now. And I get another beta, so cool, another beta. Uh, I can't do a sorting thing here. Alton, you can just go sit in there and then we'll figure out the rest of the space in a little while. But I'm happy with that. Very good progress today. We got some nice items out of it too. Just unfortunately, yeah, I was kind of hoping to, to live from that last raid, but we cut the XP down a ton. Because at the beginning of this episode, I say like 124,000 XP we were at. Now we only need 55 until we hit 38. And then once we hit 38, Skier will be maxed out and all set and ready to go because he's at 75 right now. And then, yeah, this guy here. I have a lot more to do with you. A lot more. This one, I this is the one where I need that special key. Pack of nails. Huh. Well, I'm going to keep an eye out for some insulated tape because this is actually pretty easy way to do. And that'll give me at least a point, an extra point towards him. I need to work on Tarkov Shooter Part uh, 3, so maybe we'll go do some factory soon. Could be a fun one to do. We'll, we'll, we'll see. But then we have all these other ones. I gotta, I'm got. i surprised my Vitality is not hit level 5 yet. That's actually surprising. This one I can do as well. It's got to go to Ground Zero and find the Claymore spot. This one is... Eliminate scabs in the village of Lighthouse and transfer from Lighthouse to Shoreline and do the same thing. We could probably easily do that. That doesn't seem difficult whatsoever, so I will definitely be taking a look at that. Because I could most likely kill the rest of or kill all the scabs at the village and then use that transit right over. We've, we've killed five of them easily before. And then scabs between 22 and 7 on shoreline. So I guess we just this can be common combined with some peacekeeper stuff too yeah we definitely got some plans and i could definitely get him up to where he needs to be to get him to maxed out very very soon so we'll look at that for the next episode but for right now ladies and gentlemen that is where we're gonna have the end i have some more gunsmith parts i probably should be doing as well but we'll get there in the you know very soon just in, in the near future i should say so if you guys enjoyed today's episode of the ride to Richard series make sure you give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below what you enjoyed about the episode what you're excited about for the future we're actually getting better too with the overall stats i haven't really been showing this a lot i really should be if i keep forgetting we're getting close to getting back to that 50 percent survival rate we're at 150 survival 164 kia obviously we had a pretty bad start to the wipe we just got our butts kicked every single time we just try, try to do something but um, yeah, we're, we're getting better. We're getting better. And we'll get this over 50% in no time. I didn't even realize that our survival, 14 in a row, but it's only five for PMC. Nine for the scab, which is pretty darn good, pretty cool. But we're looking good. We're looking good overall. But be anyway, beyond that, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you guys subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. And don't think I forgot about uh, this guy, because I totally did. <laughs> I totally did. Let me turn that in real quick. And then turn this one in. So we have all four of them. Turn those three because we have all three of them. And that gets me Beyond the Meat and Pyramid Scheme. Which, to be fair, Pyramid Scheme is not that bad. So we're getting closer. So we even completed some more tests than I thought it, that I actually did originally. Not bad whatsoever. I'll see you in the next one.